you are tuned into my first ever surgery vlog series and we are getting closer and closer to the date but i have some amazing news now First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. I apologize for missing uh, last week because I have quite a few changes going on here and I didn't want to um, negatively impact the series by putting things out of order. And so I'm gonna be filming a couple videos today because I do wanna make sure that I catch you guys up and hopefully this week we'll be able to drop two videos but at minimum you're getting this one and this one has a huge update, okay. So, today we're going to be talking about the surgeon of choice. Now, in the last video, as you know, I chose Dr. Zach and I was going to be moving forward with him. However, okay, I received on the 30-day mark when it was 30 days prior to my surgery date because my surgery date is July 19th, okay? So, I received a call from the coordinator, which is typical, right? 30 days prior to your surgery date, you'll receive a call from the coordinator and they will typically reach out, they'll verify the um, procedure that you're interested in having, they will verify your surgeon because as you know, this is going to be at a surgery center versus a private practice where there's typically only, and, and sometimes actually I, I uh, retract that because sometimes you do have more than one surgeon at a private practice, but at a surgery center there's typically, you know, five plus surgeons at this surgery center. So they wanted to verify the surgeon, verify the procedures that was getting done, um, and in conversation with the coordinator, she was taking a look at my pictures that were on file. And she made a comment saying, well, you've had a couple surgeries before and I feel like you might be a better fit with a different surgeon. I will stop right there. If you remember, back when we did, and I'll link it here, back when we did the comparison between the ATL surgeon, the Miami surgeon, or the Dominican Republic surgeon, I shared with you that the Miami surgeon that was one of my three candidates was a surgeon who worked under a surgeon that I am absolutely obsessed with but unfortunately was out on medical leave, okay? Well, I received, but first, before even the coordinator called me, I saw on Instagram that the surgeon that I told you I absolutely love was back. And I was like, oh my God, the surgeon's back, but I already made my choice. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to call and try to change my surgeon. It is what it is. He did practice under the surgeon. Dr. Zach did practice under the surgeon. And I'm confident in my choice. But I feel like the stars aligned because the coordinator says to me, you know, um, I know you're signed up with Dr. Zach, but looking at your pictures, I feel that Dr. Zach might be a little bit too conservative to get the look that you're going for. Perhaps you may want to go with Dr. Doback. Now, Dr. Doback is the surgeon that I am absolutely obsessed with in Miami. I've been following her for years, okay? And even in my last round, when I was planning to go to the Dominican Republic, when I was in different Facebook groups, because as I mentioned to you, when you do your research, and I'll link that video here of how you make your choice for your surgeon, as I mentioned, I, I joined a lot of different surgery groups because I wanted to see which surgeons people were talking about, take a look at their patients that they've done in the past, their BMI before, after, check out a world experience, etc. Well, I see Dr. Doback's name coming up again, again, and again, and he was the one that I, I'm sorry, she was the one, excuse me, she's a trans doctor, so she does identify as a woman, so my apologies. She was the one that I initially loved, but when I went to go see if I, because I was like, if I'm gonna choose to do a, have a candidate in Miami, it's gotta be Dr. Doback, right? However, when I went to check her site, I realized she was out on leave. So I was like, oh man, she's out on leave. But then when I was looking through her Instagram page, I realized Dr. Zach is in her place. And when I read up on Dr. Zach, I realized that he had worked under her for quite a few years. So I felt like, okay, well, she, he would be the next best thing, right? If I can't get her, I'll go with Dr. Zach. Well, when the coordinator gave me this option, I got super duper excited because I was just like, Number one, I didn't even think her calendar would be available because she's such a highly sought after surgeon. I assumed once she returns, she's gonna be super booked and busy, point blank period. Super booked and busy, right? 
However, when they gave me that option, they did explain to me it was going to be a difference in cost. So I was like, all right, well, let me hear what the difference in cost is because I know that she's a lot more popular than Dr. Zach. However, I really want to consider my options. I'm not going to say, okay, he's already at my price point. I don't want to go further than that. I would rather, quite frankly, reschedule my procedure if it was, if it was a cost I couldn't afford versus saying well then i'll go with dr zach and have in the back of my mind that i had the option for my first choice which wasn't even an option just a few months back but before i share with you the pricing i want to share with you a little background on dr Dobak because she is just so amazing okay so she is a board certified plastic surgeon and she is a medical director of the christine jorgensen center for plastic and reconstructive surgery they have two different locations one is in california and one is in miami and she is an active member of the american society of plastic surgeons and again she was my initial choice for a miami candidate but unfortunately uh she was just not available at that time so i feel like stars align for sis stars aligned round three we are gonna have the bbl done by <laughs> dr doback like she's a whole celebrity in my head in my head okay i'm definitely gonna get a picture so picture with her so make sure you're following us on instagram because you know i will be posting because i absolutely love her um another great thing you will see on many many review sites she has amazing bedside manner i remember reading about that since again since round two when i was already planning to go to dr but again just seeing different people talk i would see that they talk about how amazing her bedside manner is and how she makes you feel really comfortable she hears you out she doesn't make you feel like you're being rushed all right so i'm really excited about this choice i know you guys want to know about pricing so what i'll do is i'll do a comparison here in pricing i don't recall at the top of my head how much how much zach's quote dr zach's quote was i honestly don't remember but i will tell you um the cost for me to have the procedure done with dr Dobak. so we have the lipo 360 bbl the j plasma which are the two that i wanted but the additional procedure that i have to pay for which is not included like it was with dr zach because again everyone prices differently it's called pubis liposuction so pubis liposuction is lipo in that vaginal area so i really want to get that done so when i mentioned that to them they said okay well that's a separate price which is fine and the j plasma she charges a separate price for the front and the back so i'm getting front and back or um at uh j plasma on the abdomen and on the back as well as pubis liposuction and then um your 360 lipo the cost of that is ten thousand one hundred and fifty dollars affordable for me um again but everyone is different i just want to show you know i'm always going to tell you what the pricing is i want to tell you one thing that i will be sharing in videos to come is there are i cannot stress this enough guys this 10,150 is just a portion of the pie and it's not like 80%. I would say it's more like 55, 60% because there are so many other costs that I, and I'm going in my third round, didn't even prepare for because of course this is gonna be a different experience. I feel like every time I do it a little bit differently. For round one, I did it locally. I was living in New York, I did it on Long Island. So I was returning back home for recovery. Round two, I did it in the Dominican Republic. So the additional costs were, you know, a recovery home, flight to and from. A friend of mine went with me as well. So cost for her stay as well. Um, I lucked out. She, I, I think her flight she got with, uh, she, she had miles on her, her credit card. So she didn't, I didn't have to pay for that. But those are the costs you have to inc incur, right? Or consider. And then, of course, your post-op massages and, and all the post-op costs that I did not have in the first round because I didn't know about that. I don't even know that was a thing because that was over 10 years ago okay now in round three the additional costs that i did not prepare for i'll share with you in later videos because i have to go through the details of what ended up happening but um i just it, for me it is okay i i'm grateful to god that i'm able to be able to afford it but i do want to encourage you watch all of these videos not only because this wants to have views that's not what it's about it's about so you can make an informed decision 
and it's not about oh I'm just going to choose the surgeon my, my friend went with and then you put down a down payment and then you start hearing about all these additional costs and you're like this isn't something I can afford and then you lose your down payment all right in this series i'll be sharing with you guys as much as i can what the costs were and then maybe at the end we'll do like a full like total so you can see that i'm telling you this is like if that that 10,150 is probably going to be 55 to 60 percent of cost all right so yes i am excited about it i am like on cloud nine i feel like things could not have turned out any better I appreciate you guys for staying with us until the end. Again, I think Dr. Zach is a great choice as well, but I'm just happy to go with someone that I know I've been following for years. So I'm really excited that she is back. I'm really excited that she is in better health. Um, and I'm grateful to be um, to have her work on me for the third round. I hope you guys will consider following us because we are just, we're less than 20 folks away from 1,000 followers. Please tell a friend, tell your sister, Tell your mom, tell them all of the energy I'm bringing. Boom, 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 boom. I'm bringing you the energy. I want you to have them subscribe so we can hit a thousand followers. I mean, a thousand subscribers. Make sure you head over to Instagram, to TikTok, to Facebook. We're on there as well. We appreciate you so much for watching. As always, we love you guys. Until next time.